what we have here is uh, old Russian anamorphic movie attachment lens uh, by name NAP2. Uh, there are several different kinds of them, you know, NAP1, a ghost, NAP2, and NAP3. Now, as you can see, the lens itself, you know, is not exactly the smallest and it's quite heavy, 2.3 kilograms of weight. Talking about that weight, now it's almost impossible to pair that with your camera and manipulate with it freely. You know, it's just, it's just too much weight, you know, for a camera to, to bear. So what do we need to do? We just need to create some kind of a contraption or um, enclosure to put everything together. We're talking your camera, talking about your monitor, talking about other attachments, accessories, and so on and so on. All depends, you know, on how uh, extensive do you want to uh, build your uh, camera setup. Let's just start with the basics here. We have that lens and we have the camera, right? Now, holding it all together, uh, it just doesn't happen by itself. This compartment right here uh, consists of, you know, several different components. Now what we have here, this band right here, or should we say clamp, uh, holds uh, through midsection of, uh, of the lens. We have uh, either clamp or a lid at the back of it, right, where, as you can see in the opening, where your uh, taking lens is going to go right in, okay. Now, these clamps are attached right into rail blocks. Now, these rail blocks are attached right into uh, rods. Now, this will create you know, quite a bit of adaptability and flexibility. These two rings are not just attached you know, to uh, rail blocks, but also for safety and also for convenience, they are attached right into a uh, carrying handle. Now, if you have the setup uh, already with the lens, clamps, uh, rails. Now, how do you do you carry that? You know, how do you manipulate with it? One of the best thing, you know, is just to have you know a certain uh, handle either you know on top or on the side, you know, for easy manipulation.